Jason Dowdy here, Weikert Realtors Tower Properties with... Victoria Dowdy. Yep. And last time, at the end of our episode, what did we tell everybody we were going to make? Beer bread. That's right, beer bread. So today we're going to show you how to make beer bread with some simple ingredients so you don't have to go to the store. So stay tuned and we're going to show you how it works. All right, so now we're gonna show you the simple ingredients that you hopefully would have in your kitchen. Uh, but if not, you could probably run out and grab some. Uh, the simple ingredients that we have is we're gonna have some baking powder, and that's gonna take about three teaspoons of baking powder. We got flour, which takes, uh, what does that take, Vic? Three cups. Yep, three cups of baking. Now you wanna make sure you sift that or take a spoon and kind of thin it out so it doesn't get all bulked together. And then what do we got? Salt. Salt. Yeah, salt's very important. Uh, it's good for my diet. Okay, so how much of that do we need? One teaspoon? I think that's about right. So a teaspoon of salt. And then what's what's your other, what's your favorite ingredient? Sugar. Sugar? How much sugar do we need of that? One full. A quarter cup, right? So that's what we put out there. And then of course we've got, what's that? Butter. Butter? Half a stick of butter. I mean. Half a stick? How much is half a stick, do you know? One half. That's a quarter cup. So we're going to take the quarter cup, we're going to melt it down, but we're going to put that on at the end. And then of course, oh yes, your favorite. What is that? Your favorite spiel. Well, it's, yeah, it's, it's, we're going to try something different. We're actually going to make this one with Mankato Breweries, um, rhubarb, sour rhubarb beer. We're going to see how it tastes. We've already got one in the oven and that's actually made with Coors Light. So we're going to try that one and then we're going to try the rhubarb beer and we'll see how they both taste. How's that sound? All right, well, let's see how this works. Okay, so now we're going to take and Vic's going to put all the dry ingredients except for the butter into the mixer. Vic's, let's start dumping. First thing goes the... Including the beer. Well, we'll put the beer in when we get there. Yep, so dump it in. All right, good job. Get it all in there. All right, let's, uh, let's throw the next one in. What do you pick? Baking powder. Throw it in. Good job. Throw in the sugar. All right, good job. Now how about the quarter cup of, uh, oh yeah, throw oh, that in there that's too. That's sugar, the other one was oh, salt. I know, I get it mixed up. Good job. Okay, now our favorite ingredient. Your favorite ingredient. Oh, beer, yes, yes, we're gonna throw that beer right in there. We're gonna mix it up. Oh, that looks good. That looks different than the other beer. It does, because this is a dark beer and the other one we used was a light beer, wasn't it? So, for good practice. All right, so now we're gonna take and we're gonna mix it up. All right, Vic, so let's get it started. So we're gonna drop the mixer down, right? Lock that into place. All right, you turn it on. We're gonna turn it on maybe to about a, yeah, that's pretty good. We're gonna let things mix up here a little bit. Yep, how's it look? Good. Kind of. Good. How's it smell? In the middle. In the middle? Okay. You're getting it mixed up. It smells stronger than the other one. Does it? All right. It's starting to look good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. So now we're going to take, while this mixes up, we're going to take the butter. We're gonna put it in the microwave for about, oh, I don't know, 25 seconds, check your power settings. And once that melts, we're gonna put this in there and we're gonna pour it on top and see what how it turns out. All right, now that we got it all mixed up, we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it in the pan, right? And yep. then we're gonna pour the butter on top. So, you ready for this? We already greased the pan. That's right, it's very important that you grease the pan. So, let's get this puppy out. Let's, here, Dad will take it and just knock it off, okay? All right, now that we've completed that, Vic, what's next? The butter. butter. All right, pour it on there. Make sure you keep it moving and spread it all over the whole thing. Keep pouring, don't stop, keep pouring. Keep pouring. All right, now that it's all poured, we're gonna take it, we're gonna put it in the oven. All right, so now it's ready to go in the oven. But one thing we forgot to mention is at the beginning of our video, well, how hot we're we supposed to have that oven, Vic? 
Was it 375? Yeah. Yeah, 375. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the oven at 375. We're gonna cook it for how long? One hour? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, let's get this puppy in the oven. Our other one's almost down, done. We're gonna pull that one out here in just a minute and we're gonna see how good that one looks. How's that sound? All right, let's see what happens as we, we cook this for the next hour. All right, Vic. Well, it's been about an hour. Should we take the bread out of the oven? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So let's take a quick uh, gander. Let's grab this puppy. Woo! Whoa. Pull that bread out of the oven. Looks pretty good. Okay, now we gotta let it set for about 15 minutes. Then we're gonna pull it out of that pan. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay, so now that the bread is all done, we're gonna pull it out. I've got two test subjects here. Uh, we got Victoria and what's your name? Zevin. Zevin, you can speak a little louder. But we're gonna pull it out of the pan, but before we do that, we're gonna have to cut out the edges just to make sure that it comes out nice and smooth. As long as we buttered it good, it should come out, right? Okay, we're gonna pull it out of the pan. It's a little warm. All right, so we're gonna cut the end off. Who wants to be our first person? Me. You do. All right, I'm gonna put one on the plate. Over it comes for you, sir. Why don't you butter that up? And then Victoria's gonna butter it up. And then just a little bit, when the other one's done, <coughs> we're gonna try the other one. Now, the first one here is the one that we made with Coors Light, right, Vic? Yes. Yep, yep. And then the next one is the one that's made with the Mankato Brewery beer, the rhubarb. Yeah. We're gonna see how that's, that one that, tastes. That's probably gonna taste better. You think that one's gonna taste better? Yeah. Ah, okay. You know, I was really hoping we could get some of the foxhole uh, peanut butter one. I thought that'd be pretty good. What do you think? That'd be good? Peanut butter yeah. in your bread? Yeah. Peanut so. butter bread. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, let's take a little bite. How's it taste? Tastes like chicken? All right. So it's kid approved? Oh. Really good? All right, so we'll see how the next one is and we'll decide which one tastes better. How's that sound? All right, we'll stay tuned. All right, so our second one is done. I'm gonna pour this out. What did you guys think of the last one? Was it good? Yeah. yeah. Would you do it again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so now- I would do all of them This again. one, you do them all again? That's good. Mm -hmm. So now this one is made with the Mankato Brewery and this is a rhubarb. You guys looking forward to trying a little rhubarb? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. so I'm curious as to what your facial expressions might be because you've never had this style before, have you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I I, now this one might be a little tart. So we're gonna see I what the differences are. I don't want it first. He can have it first. Again. Oh, you're gonna let him be first? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna give you that one, buddy. That's gonna be a little crispy because it's the end. No, I'm just gonna try a bite and see if I like it. Okay. Kind of excited to see what your expressions might be. See, that's a crunchy in there. Ooh, should have cut them a little thicker. It's hot. It just came out. Does it need a little butter or are they good just plain? Let's I'm try gonna... some of it. It's good? All right, so I'm kind of looking ah! forward to seeing which one, what you're gonna do next there, Vic. So stay tuned. Um, this is Jason Dowdy. We're kind of curious, what is your favorite type of beer that you would make bread with? Uh, send us some photos, put some comments in there. Let us know what you think. Jason Dowdy, White Girl Realtors Tower Properties. Victoria Dowdy. Yep, and? Zevin Dowdy. All right. Thanks and have a great day.